So in the last video, I explained the intuition behind decision tree regression technique. Now you might be wondering how exactly can we build and train a decision tree regression model as well as visualize this non-linear and non-continuous model in a tree structure form. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps to build and train the decision tree regression model in a step-by-step -step manner from the scratch. You will also see how can we visualize this uh, model in a graphical tree structure form. Please note that I will be using the same data set that I used to train polynomial regression model in the previous videos. So stay tuned. So the problem statement remains the same as of polynomial regression case. So we have this height and age data set which contains two columns. Number one is age and number two is height. Here we want to predict the height of a person given his age. Now important thing to note here is that we don't want to predict the height of a person whose age is less than 10 years. Because if you note the data set contains age and height data above and equal to 10 years only right so there is no observation available below 10 years of age and this data is just for illustration purpose only and uh, you can use your uh, more realistic data based on a particular use case you have because you know data can vary from use case to use case so without further delay let's get into the code related to decision tree regression in the very first cell, I'm importing these necessary libraries like pandas to give structure to our data, numpy to perform mathematical and other relevant operations, and matplotlib to uh, create certain charts. In the same cell below, I'm actually importing our height and age data set using read underscore csv method of pandas. And then I'm printing uh, first few rows of this data frame using head method. So you can see that we got the uh, result as this. Okay, so it printed first five rows of it. In the next cell, I'm uh, separating out uh, independent and dependent variables here. So we have an independent variable called age and dependent variable as height. And here age values are stored in variable x and height values are stored in variable y. Please note that for variable y, the index value is mentioned as 1 here, which denotes the index value for column height, because index in Python always starts from 0. For variable x, the index is mentioned as 0 colon 1 in order to treat this column as matrix. Otherwise, if we keep index value as 0 only here, uh, depicting column age, then uh, it will be treated as vector only. Now the question is why are we keeping X as matrix because it's always suggested to keep the features as feature matrix or always suggested to store the features as feature matrix rather than vector and that's the whole reason we mentioned index as 0 colon 1 here. And don't get confused by value 1 here because upper bound is always excluded in range function in Python okay so in the next cell I'm trying to split the data into training and test data sets by keeping the size of uh, test set or test data set as 30% using this parameter called test underscore size now random state argument is uh, kept as 0 here so that you can also get the same result if you mention the random state equals to 0 in your code as well and here x is uh, again that independent variable and y is dependent variable. So moving on to the next cell uh, where we are developing our decision tree regression model. So here we are first importing the decision tree regressor class from sklearn.tree package. In the next line we are creating a decision tree object and giving it as a name ttreg. Please note that here also random underscore state argument is kept as zero so that you can also get the same result. 
in the next line uh, we are fitting this decision tree regressor with training data represented by x train and y train and we are using a method called fit which is associated with our decision tree regressor called dt reg now when i ran the cell uh, our decision tree regression model got created and you can see that in the output that it has uh, taken default values of arguments like criterion max underscore depth max underscore features etc in order to build this model and if you want to get more details about these arguments and play around as well as uh, customize the decision tree as per your needs then you can go to this documentation page here so this is a scikit learns documentation page okay and i will provide the link of uh, this particular page in the description section moving on in the next cell i'm trying to evaluate the decision tree regression model using r square method here so if you want to get details around various regression based evaluation techniques like r square adjusted r square mean absolute error mean square error etc then you can watch uh, these videos link for these video is given in the i button above so first i try to get the predicted height from the test data set by passing x underscore test as an argument in the dt reg dot predict method okay then i imported matrix class here from sklearn which contains r2 underscore score method to evaluate the model using r square we pass both actual as well as predicted values of height inside r2 underscore score method and then i printed the result in the next line using this particular line of code when i ran the cell i got the r square value as 0.99 which is close to 1 and this actually depicts that our decision tree regression is pretty accurate in the next cell we are trying to visualize the decision tree but before we generate this graph let me ma uh, make you aware of one thing so if you remember from decision tree intuition video we created several rectangles based on splits happening on two attributes called cart size and frequency these rectangles uh, contained set of observations inside it then we took the average of those observations to predict the uh, value of uh, third column or the target variable called total amount so it was a three dimensional data where based on two dimensions called cart size and frequency we were predicting third dimension called total amount but here in this data set we have only two dimensional data that is we have only two columns namely age and height and since here we are predicting height based on age so the splits will happen based on one column only that is based on column age only this decision tree plot will depict a model in one dimension and which is going to be non-linear as well as non-continuous and i'm going to show it to you in a short while so here in the first line we are creating a range of values from min value of x train to max value of x train having a difference of 0 0.01 between consecutive values in the next line i am reshaping this data here so the above two lines are required so that we can make our graph more smoother in the next line i am defining the scatter plot based on independent and dependent variables and giving the color blue to the observations in the next line i am uh, plotting the predicted values uh, by drawing a red line for them and in the next three subsequent lines i am defining the title x label y label etc and then down below i am uh, setting the size of figure so that you can visualize the graph more visually and finally i am plotting the graph using plt.show method so when i ran the cell i got the graph like this so there are vertical lines on this graph if you observe here right so there are vertical lines like these shown here okay and that is the whole reason um, we were calling this graph as non-continuous in nature uh, as against linear regression where we had one continuous line right so this is not continuous line rather it's a 
non-continuous because we have these vertical lines on this particular graph and this uh, non-continuous nature is governed by these two lines of code which we defined here so these are the two lines of code which are governing this non-continuous nature of this particular line so this is the way a decision tree regression can be represented so if you observe that there are certain horizontal lines here between two vertical lines right so this region of horizontal line between two vertical lines represents an interval and as explained in the decision tree intuition video link of which given in the i button above the decision tree regression takes an average of all the observation in that interval so it will take a average of all the observation in this interval in order to predict the value of target variable so if i take an example of let's say this interval only the average height will come somewhere around 150 right so if i drop a line on this it will come somewhere around 150 right so for each level between 37 and 41 so let's say this is 37 and this is 41 okay if you drop two vertical lines this will come as somewhere around 37 and this will come at around 41 so for each level between these two values 37 and 41 the height will be predicted as somewhere around 150 only and i am validating this prediction in a very last cell here this this particular cell so if you see the last cell i am predicting the height of a person whose age is 41 years and you can see that height came as 151 that is the predicted height came as 151 which is close to 150 only so our uh, model is predicting uh, very well here right now one last thing left is to visualize a tree structure for this decision tree model and that is something which i am doing in this particular cell here so first i am importing uh, this export underscore graph viz from sklearn.tree package so export underscore graph which library is used to visualize the decision tree next we are passing arguments like name of the decision tree regression name of the file into which this decision tree will be exported and the name of the feature on which this decision tree going to be plotted so in our case feature this particular feature on which this graph is going to be plotted is age and we are exporting this decision tree in a file named dt regression dot dot and we are also passing the name of decision tree regression here which is dt reg and when i ran this cell a file with the name dt regression got created with a particular graph related code this is the file which got generated and this is the code which got generated for this decision tree graph so just copy this code go on to a website called www.webgraphwiz.com and paste this code okay so paste this code here in this particular box so i pasted my code in this box only here and when you click on generate graph button a graph gets created just like shown down below here minimize this you can see that this is the uh, decision tree graph generated so you can get all the information here like uh, what is the value where this split happened right here it is saying age is less than equals to 27.5 so split is happening here as well as uh, the associated uh, mean square error value and the sample value so this is the way you can generate this decision tree graph so folks this is it for this video in the next upcoming videos i will be covering several other regression algorithms so stay tuned so here is today's question what is the color of the line slash data points which represents predicted values in the decision tree graph please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you